So, a little weird one. This is one I've done for, for Spots of Thin before, but just to show all you lovely lot as well, I'll show you how I tie a band, or how I tie a band, banded hair rig for all me thingy. <laughs> you don't know which camera to look at. Are we letting ones? him loose to the camera? This ain't a good idea, <laughs> is it? You'd be doing that, <laughs> you'd be seasick. It's upside down now. <laughs> right, but it's a sensible to so, um, yeah, how I tie, because I, I believe the way I tie a hair rig, so I've spoken about this lots of times, is the strongest and most efficient way of doing it. Yeah, definitely. My pet hate is having people tie it with a single strand of hair, if you like. Yeah. And as you go to put your baits on, ripping your hair rigs off, yeah. all of them getting damaged uh, as you're fishing because you've not whipped enough or not. So just a few things for me, just to make it really, really lovely. So I've got my yes. little friend here with me GoPro. Get ready. So we can zoom in and zoom. see what's happening. You use big camera to zoom in, but I'm, I'm here on hand to zoom in. Right, it's gone into your head. Oh, gone black. Does it matter if you go... No, no you oh, there, keep there, pressing there. so you can see me though. So I've got a big, massive one. Yeah, I've got a big size 12 Cheeky. in a band. <laughs> Steady, aren't you? I wish. Right. I'm not zooming in on that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, come on. Sorry, mate. Go so on. I've got a big, massive one just for visual pit. <laughs> Honest <laughs> God. So. Very confident, isn't he, folks? <laughs> right, go ahead, Jay. Go ahead. Go on, mate. Sorry, sorry, go on. So, right, first get, thing on. Get your big, massive one out, then. Come on. Let's have a look. There it is, folks. Look, he's waiting for him. <laughs> big size 12 so you can see things better. <laughs> what is going on? Go on, go on. Isn't it? We're on it, we're on it. So, first thing I want to do, that's how I want it to end up, obviously. I want my band to end up there. So, first thing I want to clock is the length of the shank of the hook, depending on how big a, a hook I'm going to do. It'll dictate the size of the loop that I'm going to make, yeah? So, I'm going to take my band. I've got some decent line. I think we've got some 016 there. Put my band through. Do you want me to thread it onto the line? Like so, so he's just dangling on the line, yeah? Am I masking you, Rich? He's, he, he's free running on the, on the yep. line. So now I want to do is just tie one simple overhand knot, just double that up so it's all nice and goes done. And I want to tie the loop the same size as that shank. Yeah, so I want my, my knot to be at the top of the top of the shank, just under the uh, eye. Yeah. And then I want the bottom of the loop just obviously kicking out. So there, I'm going for about eight mil. I mean, size right, of that okay, hook yeah. about eight yeah, ten yeah, mil. Yeah. So I'm just going to tie one single. Did you play around with that? Or is this loop? pretty much standard how you tie them all, Jay? Yeah, tie them all like this. Right. Okay. So about eight mil. Yeah, about that. So nice, nice and tight. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got the band is free running in that loop, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And like I'm going to chop my tag end off. So nice and flush. Now, yeah, very sharp there, Andrew. I'm liking them. Proper in some, mate. So I'll end up with that. Yeah. Just a band in a loop. You nice. see it all nice and lovely. You see free running, so there's no knot strangling the band, which is what often you get tightening and tightening the more you pull on it and then snapping your band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got rid of that issue straight away. Next thing, I'm just making him flush. Is I get me hook. Is this the big one, yeah? So we've got, got the big one back out, yeah. And we're going in the back of the hook. Right. So we it's thread it through the missing. back of the hook, through that lovely big eye on the hook. Yeah. And we pull a knot, and if I've done it right, which I'm hoping we have, yes. So me knot sits right on the bottom of the eye, but my band's right in the most perfect place. Right where I want it, just beneath the bottom of the band. Yeah. So this will be for all my pole fishing. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't use a band when I'm fishing a, um, a bomber pellet. I do it in a different way that we're yes. going to do another video yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. So for all my pole fishing. So now what I can do is actually pinch the, the band so it holds right in the right place. Mm -hmm. Just pull the knot down because I don't want it clogging the eye up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want it just below the eye. And I do one revolution on top of the knot. I got that wrong last time. Lots, didn't I? That's why Rich is laughing at me. So that locks me knot. And then I'm going to go underneath the knot. And then we carry on whipping. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Just keep whipping. Just keep whipping. Just keep going on. I'm going to go up to my mouth so I can see what's going on. Okay. So I've got no goggles on. So we just keep on whipping. Normally about 15 or 16, but it all depends on size of hook and, uh, and diameter of the line. Yeah, man. So I've got to the bottom. Let's have a look at that. Pinch thing. it and lock it. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to go back. Back to the front again. I definitely should have put my goggles on for this. This is important, but it's always coming off the front. So it goes of the, the back uh, of the hook, so it ends up tight there. So yeah. the, the line's coming off the front of my hook. I'm just going to pull that, and you end up with the actual hair rig. It's probably what? What, you're going to give me mill, mill and half? Yeah, something like so that. So a tiny, tiny little hair rig. Look at that. But it keeps my hook. Obviously, it looks a bit daft because of the size of hook. I mean, I'd have normally had a bigger band if we were going to use yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Thing, but no. I've just stolen that band off a of size 16, and it wasn't quite big enough for, for showing on camera. So it just makes it. So what, what I've actually got, if we can really, really zoom in, is a doubled up length of line coming out the bottom end of that whipping. Ah, uh, yeah. Because it's double yeah, no, and it's, it's right. not strangulating it on it. Yeah. 
it, it keeps it twice as strong, so there's no chance of snapping your bands off. But also, if you don't whip all the way to the bottom of your hook, if you yeah. only do six turns, you find that your, your hair rig comes off too early and it gets damaged if your hair's too long. Definitely. Yeah, it might sit in the same place, but it ends up getting damaged and then it sits all over your hook. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It goes up and down. It's I'll nasty. do mine very, very similar as well, Dave. Exactly the same number of turns going up, but I'll also come back down sort of three or four times. Yeah, you'll as well. do like one or two yeah, just to tighten it. Yeah, I don't think it. it makes a difference. Well, I, I do it's it sort of once. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But that happens itself by bringing it back up. And I think it's worth mentioning, obviously, that's that's for everything. Um, you know, some people beat themselves up about having a, a slightly longer longer hair rig. It, it doesn't make a blind bit of difference. Not on a pole. Um, when, obviously, them fish are sucking that bait in, you want them to say, obviously, your hook as well, don't you? You yes. know what I mean? So, as long as it's got a bit of flex in it, so it looks natural. Yeah, as long as it is sitting just it, below yeah. the hook and not, you don't want it up the side of it, yeah? Yeah. You want it just below the bottom of the, do you know, that bottom, what we're going to call that, like, four or five o'clock on the hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just a lovely area, but that keeps it in the same place all day Every long. Every time. So I'm presenting me baiting exactly Perfect. the same way all the time. So hopefully, we're going to have a little go of that. And for me, definitely, that makes my hook so much neater, so much stronger. And I'm not wasting time with band snapping or things like that. Can I have that one, please, Jay? Of course you can. Smash him up on his own hook then, folks. <laughs>